Well, welcome back fans and friends to this next video we have the Hot Wheels I'm this is just the series I call it's flashy packaging so I just had to buy it you can never go wrong with having enough Mustangs but here's another one uh, the 2024 Mustang Shelby GT500 uh, and as you can see this is one of the things I don't understand this I don't think this is a premium I don't think I paid more than two dollars for this up here in Canada but you can clearly see how well everything here is printed on and yet you will go out spend 15 to 17 dollars on a Hot Wheels premium and for some strange reason the bubble jet printer they use leaves everything bubbly and unreadable and you can even cl see, clearly see the Shelby there in the front sorry in the back uh, you have differentiated lights everything else the license plate however is very plain and probably not built in no imprint whatsoever the card looks nice give it that right and you know the standard stuff on the back here uh, I saw this as well did not see this I saw this did not see that and obviously that one there is this one numbered it is not numbered it appears to be h3 plus oh there it is one out of five so clearly it's going from left to right so one two three four five I picked up only number one and so here we go. Gonna get out of the package. Just take a bit of a closer look at it. Obviously, it has nothing opening, no moving. We did see a rear view mirror, so good for them. Uh, step in the right direction. Like I said, Auto World, for some strange reason, does not have rear view mirrors. But here we are. So it is a nice, flashy green. Lights, I think, are they are a sticker. You have the I like this separate piece. This here is a separate piece. It is not part of the hood. It would be nice if it opened. Or perhaps another manufacturer that does have an opening hood. I will get to that in a later video. But once again, we're going to go right into it. Spoiler uh, it is one piece, which is very common for the basics. It's not a separate part put in there, like even we've seen before in other premium versions where it is a piece that's inserted. This one is not. And as you can see, the left and the right side is almost identical. The only difference will be the gas cap, which uh, actually I take that back. It is not the gas cap. Sometimes the gas caps are the back here. I do not see it. So I don't see the imprint. Uh, okay, so let's just go through it. You have from left to right the Michelin, the number 20. Brembo brakes, the Cobra from the Shelby GT500. But Shelby in general will have Cobras. And in here you can clearly see H Hot Wheels GRFX, so graphics. And it's clearly legible. It doesn't make sense when you have a premium version and nothing is clearly legible. You have these nice wheels here. They're not the standard Hot Wheels Mattel. They are a hub and spoke design. Uh, the car rolls very well. I mean, it's a Mattel, so it's better. Uh, like I said, the front in there, you you can see the Shelby there. That's probably the one big thing there is it's not painted. Why I bring that up is because that's painted. So on the back, it's painted. On the front, it's not. You can see the lights are a little bit unevenly red. There's little specks of white inside there. And it's not differentiated at the bottom there. You can see there's a yellow streak running across the vehicle. So it looks like the sides of the vehicle were painted in a different facility from the back of the vehicle because this is the exact pro same problem I talk about with their premiums where it is not evenly painted. And as you can see, there's no gap for the spoiler. So just the undercarriage, the mufflers, dual exhaust on the other side is clearly the same color as the rest of the vehicle. There's a little bit of white there. I don't know if I think that's a mispainting or just maybe the reflection. Yeah, just a reflection. And then uh, underneath the vehicle is extremely plain. You have the Hot Wheels printed on a flat bottom here. You have the 24 Shelby GT500, which on the card, usually if you put the Shelby, they don't put the Mustang. Sorry, so for this one, for some reason, they've put... Sometimes they do this, sometimes they don't. It's really weird, but for the bottom of the vehicle, it's just identified as a Shelby. While on the card, it's a Ford Mustang Shelby. And obviously both say GT500, 2020. As you can see, this is unevenly done for some unknown reason. Here it's green, which is the obviously punching into there. And then there it's covered over. 
So that's kind of weird. There's the differential, the gearbox and everything. And there's the front, the splitter. You can see that. It's very nice. Uh, just a s I have the GT5 350R from Hot Wheels Premium. Uh, just a second. And so I just went out and grabbed the other Mustangs. A few of them, not all of them, obviously. But this is the Premium, the Hot Wheels F9. Apparently somebody posted, I don't remember, but the Mustang in the movie is just a plain 5.0. It is not this. So in defense, and as you can see here, Ford Shelby GT350R. Uh, you can see the difference. This is the premium, and this is the basic. So the basic is very basic. Uh, you can see even the scale is a little bit different. Uh, for the basic, you have the bottom is one panel, but here you can see obviously overlap. Uh, the differential is almost identical. The 350 and the 500, you can clearly see it's like 99% there. They've obviously moved this in, but okay, so I take that back then. I guess they do do it this way. It looks kind of dirty, but that's fine. Uh, you can see the difference. I thought this was done poorly as well. I brought that up. The basic one is only slightly worse. Uh, the wheels. This is just the plastic over version of this. So there's that going for the premium but other than that and this one's way heavier like it is at least twice as heavy uh, overhead view you have there the extensions for the wheel wells and on, I think on this one it's the same yeah you can see there it's not very clear because of the way the body is designed here but and you have the rearview mirrors I always bring that up you can see nice cabin detail there and very plain at the back don't quite remember for this. The windows obviously for this very different, but then you can see how they did not give you a separate spoiler. So that's a Hot Wheels Premium and doesn't offer very many advantages over this, which is a Hot Wheels, I think it's a basic, like it's a different design for the card, but it appears everything else to be basic. And then I also have here the RTR. Uh, I brought this up. Everything was nicely printed on it for the most part. The front half and then the back half got a little bit sloppy. The spoiler, once again, one piece. The tires are two tone, two piece. The front done extremely well painted, extremely well detailed. Like it looks really nice. And you can clearly see that through the front windshield. Very nicely done. I highly recommend this one. But in terms of Mustangs, those three are Hot Wheels. This last one here is Green Light. It was my favorite from the three green lights that I did. This video a long time ago, probably one of the first uh, mistakes I made because I made them all the same uh, video and nobody watched it. Anyway, you can clearly see there, Mach 1, uh, green light most of the time does a very, well job, very good job painting. You can see how clear the windshield is, see through. The back there detail everything, but here's the thing I was bringing up. Besides the fact that the hood opens and the, you can see the engine, the engine's poorly painted in the front, everything else is black, you have the gray bar, uh, different tones for the mirrors, but the spoiler, see the gap? This thing cost about nine bucks and this thing cost about six dollars. This is a Mach 1, it's not a Shelby, so I have Shelby's but they're 350's so they'd be comparable to this, actually not that, that's a 500. But you can see that there is a slight difference in terms of quality and product. You can see it look right away, right? Of course, it could always be this Mustang, but this Mustang actually, I think, is better than the Shelby's, the other two that were in the video. Uh, this was more well laid out, less fuzzy, and the rear view mirrors added, plus some other details. A uh, separate spoiler piece, like this is, I think, is. Uh, just to this green light is that the bottom goes into the top but then you have separate part here for the splitter which is very nice right so I rambled on nine minutes for this simple Mustang video just to bring to you the basic two premiums all Hot Wheels and this here just for comparison is a green light and you see it has the little details there which is one of the things I like from this one right there Okay, guys, sorry about that long-winded one, but it's a Ford Mustang. I can go on as long as I want. Thank you guys for watching, and till the next one.